16 mayoral candidates Felicia Moore and Andre Dickens are the last two standing for today's runoff. It has been a tight race that we have seen throughout much of the month when we have looked at our polling. Uh, both candidates focusing their campaigns on the topics that you're interested in the most, according to our polling, crime and affordable housing. Hope for joining us now live downtown Atlanta outside the venue of Felicia Moore's watch party. Hope, what can you tell us so far? Well, we uh, managed to make our way inside the watch party right now. It's going on. There are a lot of supporters who are making their way in right now. Of course, people have their their he you know heads kind of looking down at that phone every once in a while to check those results as they're uh, waiting as they're, all of those results are coming in. And even though it does show that Moore is a little bit behind right now, that's not really bothering anybody in this room right now. People are still energized and they're still ready to support uh, uh, Felicia Moore there. It's been a long day for a lot of people in here. It's been a long day for Moore. She's, her day started at 9 a.m. when she when she was out there voting. And uh, now it's ending here at this party as we wait for those results and also wait to see if Moore is going to come down uh, and talk to anybody here in a little time soon. But she has been very secure that she was 41 percent of the vote last time and she kept talking today about how she was very sure that her team was successful in being able to get out there and talk to other people who voted for other candidates in the general election and pull them over to her side and they are still very uh, confident that they'll be able to do that of course though she's talked about uh, be you know, her bringing honesty and transparency to this campaign and hoping to do that as the mayor of the city, wanting to bring some, uh, again, transform Atlanta politics there. So she's talked a couple of times today about, you know, whoever the next mayor is could possibly be mayor for four years, possibly be mayor for eight years. And that is a lot of time to make some change in the city, which she and her opponent have both said is desperately needed.